peace. It does not mean to be in a place where there is no noise, trouble, or hard work. It means to be in the midst of those things and still be calm in your heart. Welcome to Mrs. Cotton Candy's Darling Life. I hope everyone is doing well and having a fabulous day. Welcome to all my new darlings. I hope you'll enjoy my videos and a big thank you also to the darlings that have been with me since the very beginning. I love you all and today it's going to be sort of a different video. Um, I wanted to share this is my wish for you. Comfort on difficult days. Smile when sadness endures. Rainbows to to follow the clouds, laughter to kiss your lips, hugs when spirit say, friendships to brighten your being, faith so you can believe, patience to accept the truth, love to um, complete your life, courage to know yourself, confidence for when you're in doubt, beauty for your eyes to see, and then lastly, sunsets to warm your heart. So my darlings, um, I, sorry, I'm going to put my hand here for a second. I just wanted to um, come on here today. Here I am. Sorry for my appearance. Um, but I just wanted to come on here today and kind of do a little chit chat video um, and talk about forgiveness. I realize this is a very kind of hard topic to talk about because sometimes forgiveness is very hard to do. But I was watching a bit, uh, movie last night and um, you know if you are in a bit of a conflict with you know a loved one, a family member or friend and you haven't talked to them for years or even just a week or two days, I don't know, um, try to, you know it's very hard to forgive when you've been hurt terribly and uh, I just think in this world time goes, a life is short and if we can try to learn to forgive people who have hurt us um, and like I said, sorry, going back to why I'm talking about this is because I watched a movie um, last night and in that movie, they kind of showed that, you know, this young girl goes to her father's place for the summer and um, she doesn't want to go there. Her parents are split up. And, um, but then um, towards the end of the summer, she realizes her, her dad isn't well and she kind of treated him not so nicely um, and they argued and stuff throughout the summer. And then she realizes he's not well and he's got cancer. And she realizes he's not going to be there much longer. So, you know, if you can try to forgive you guys, I know it's easier said than done. Um, sometimes, I guess a lot of times, just know that, you know, like maybe you can try to look back and figure out why you were arguing or fighting or got hurt in the first place. If you can maybe do that and maybe try to get a hold of that person that you haven't talked to or felt hurt by or whatever and try to see if you can forgive them because like I just said life is short and you know if they're especially if they're a loved one or a really great friend you know see if you can try to find it inside of yourself to forgive and maybe you haven't talked to this person in such a long time um, and maybe, you know, you try to call them or whatever and they won't take your calls or your texts or whatever. Um, but do what you can to try to, to forgive them. And if they don't accept it, well, at least you can look back and say, look, you know, I've tried, I've done this, this, and this. And I've done my part to try to, um, you know, make things right. Even if you're, if, even if you're the one that got hurt, you know, um, I know it's a very hard thing, you guys. Like I should be here, sitting here trying to tell you guys this. You guys are all wonderful, my darlings. You know, you're all fabulous, wonderful, beautiful people. And I know you, you're smart. And you know, and I know sometimes 
you can't forget. There's times when you just can't, like, you know, um, big things that have happened that you just, you know, that are so hard to forget. I understand that. But if, you know, sometimes, you know, life is about communicating. And if maybe you look back and you realize and you think, you go to a quiet place and sit down and think about what actually happened. Why is the cause that you guys aren't friends anymore or a loved one you don't talk to anymore? Um, you know, because sometimes it's just communication. Sometimes, you know, we miscommunicate with each other and the, the argument or the fight or whatever was over something really, you know, trivial. That's just sometimes. I'm not saying all the time, you know. Um, but like I said, um, life is short. So if you can, you know, I know it's hard and it's not an easy thing to do, but you know, we're not all here forever. Yes, we might be here for a long time. Well, not a long time, but you know, but you just, I don't know. I'm just trying to say, try, try to forgive if you can, because it will make your life better and, you know, you, you won't feel like you've lost somebody or um, feel the hurt and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. I just, I just took away from that, like, um, there was a time in my life where I didn't talk to my loved ones for, you know, this is hard for me to say, but for a year, and we weren't talking, and it that was one of the hardest years of my life, and uh, so if you can, try to forgive, and if, even if you can't, and you try to say, look, you try to get a hold of the other person, and try to say, hey, I forgive you, I forgive you for what you've done, and let's move forward, and if they don't want to, or they don't whatever, just say, you know what, I've come to you, I forgive you, and if you ever want to, um, you know, if you ever need me or need to talk, my door is always open. You can always say that, you know. Um, but I realize this topic of forgiveness is a very, very, very um, hard thing to do, and I'm not saying that it's easy, but sometimes if, if you really sit down and go to a quiet place and think about it and really think about what happened in the situation and how you got to where you are, maybe it, you know, now that you've had some time to, to go through it and to, you know, sort of think about it, maybe it's not as, as bad as it, um, you know, needs to be. Um, I'm sorry that this is kind of you know, not an uplifting video, but uh, I just really wanted to talk to you guys and see if, you know, let you know to see, because, you know, I really miss my grandparents. They're gone, and, you know, they're in my heart. That They're watching over me, and I'm so blessed, and I was so lucky to have them in my life. But just know, you know, like, Enjoy the time that you have with your loved ones and your and your friends. If you have great friends, good friends, because you just you just never know. Like the other day, um, I was on Facebook and I saw um, there's a Canadian talk show um, here in Canada and it's called Stephen and Chris. And I think they filmed in Toronto or whatever. My husband and I always thought maybe we'd go and see it, but. The guy, Chris, he just passed away the other day for no, I don't, we don't know yet, well, of why he passed. Apparently they found him um, in an alleyway or something like that. So, and he was a really upbeat kind of guy. I really wanted to meet him because he was just, you know, he just loved fashion and he was always, you know, uplifting other people and writing. He was always laughing and he was just an awesome kind of guy, you know, and that's so sad, you know, so sad that he just, he's, he's down, he's gone. So, you know, you just don't know in life what's going to happen. So if you can, 
Um, sorry I'm shaking there. So if you can, you know, talk to your loved ones or your friends and try to reconnect. If possible, like, like I said before, it's a hard thing to do and, you know, I, I don't know. I just, you just really need to look at the relationship and try to see if you can mend it any way possible because you just don't know in life, you guys. You just don't know. And, um, you know, it, it, it's hard. It's really hard. And uh, believe me, when you do forgive pe people or loved ones or whoever, sorry, <laughs> um, it is a good, it, you know, and they forgive you and you can move on. That is, that is a wonderful, beautiful thing. You know, I don't want it just to be all down, but you know, it is a beautiful, wonderful thing and you can move on and start having wonderful times and laughing and crying and hugging and all that great stuff. Cause we're not here for a long time, so have a good time. Cause the sun can't shine every day. You know that song? That's an awesome song. But anyways, I love you guys. And remember, believe in yourself, I believe in you, and you will go far. Thank you so, so much for watching, and well, again, for, sorry for my appearance, but I just wanted to get on here and talk about that. Let me know if you guys are struggling with forgiveness and people that have hurt you, or I'd love to hear. And um, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you really soon, you guys. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.